Hello there. We are in beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico, staying at the Caribbean Hilton Resort. It is so close to downtown Old San Juan. Beautiful location, beautiful hotel. I can't wait to tour you around, show you some of my favorite things here. I vacation often I'm with my family so a lot of this is going to show you what's really great about this property for if you're a foodie and if you're traveling with the family so come with me as I show you around the Caribbean Hilton in San Juan and I'm going to show you some of my favorite things and in other videos you can catch some of my favorite restaurants in San Juan and a few other touristy destinations like the rainforest and an old walking tour. So join me as we check out the Hilton. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is that here we are in a beautiful garden view suite. Now a suite is perfect if you're a family. We have a beautiful bedroom here, our own bathroom, and then out in the main area, there is a kitchen area, a little fridge, there's a sink, there's another half bathroom, which is really convenient if you're with a family. And then we also have a pull-out couch, which is great for kids. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the property. But first, I want to show you outside because at the Caribbean Hilton, all of the garden view rooms are suites, the little end cap of the hotel. So we are looking at some beautiful, lush trees. It was raining a little bit earlier, so it does feel like a tropical paradise we're in. So I'm going to show you outside right now. So this hotel room has definitely been lived in for a couple of days. I have a toddler, I guess he's like a preschooler now, he's four years old, almost five, but he is super comfortable, set up on this couch, he has his own TV, which is such a luxury because we don't get that at home, but um, this has been a really comfortable space for him. There is some light that comes in in the morning, so it helps, you know, we want to be on that island time, we want to take it easy, but it does help kind of get him up in the morning. And like I said, he already has his own bathroom here, which is super nice. So I'm just gonna tour you around the room a little bit. Um, at, the, at some point in this video, you're also gonna see our tour of walking into the hotel. So step by step what it actually looked like before we brought all of our favorite puppies to live with us. So you'll see what that looked like just in case you're coming to the Caribbean Hilton and want to know what it looks like for the first time. But I'm going to give you just a little tour here and then I'm going to take you around the hotel to check out different things you might love as much as we have. Let's go. All right, getting a little bit closer inside. As an art lover, I love all the beautiful photography around, the blue, the blue walls. And like you see, you will actually see all the streets that look like exactly this photo if you go touring around Old San Juan, which I highly recommend. I so far did a tour here, a food tour. We eat delicious things, drank delicious things. If you're not familiar, this area is known for inventing the pina colada. I guess there's a little discrepancy, like we don't know exactly who it was, but Cribby Hilton is definitely an important spot on the who invented the pina colada trail that you'll find. So anyways, you'll see lots of streets that look like this and I do recommend you go into Old San Juan. It's very comfortable, very easy to get around. You can just take a 10 minute Uber there from the hotel, probably less than $10. But anyways, you'll see the beautiful sights like this in person, but I love that around the hotel, like in this room alone, we have a couple different views, different artwork to take it all in. So I do really like that. You feel where you are, even in the room. It's not like boring hotel art. You know what I mean? Let's see. You know, I swear that I saw this specific street when I was on a walking tour. I did like a foodie walking tour, but I think they kind of like Photoshopped out some of the specific details. The suite itself was very nice and roomy. Do you love this hotel? Yeah. What do you like about the bed? Jumping. Let me see. 
You'll see at the end of this video that I do a room tour of our specific garden view suite at the Caribbe Hotel. And actually he's so used to us doing the room tours that he decided to go on his own and do it. But because we're in the garden suite, we we're at the very end of the hotel floor, which is fine. We just got a little walk in every morning heading out for the day. I did love all the art that was around the hotel and I love some lovely plants. I actually have this plant. This is a Z plant at home. Mine is not this big, so this was total plant goals for me. There are a bunch of cute little spots that you can take photos. This is just the view walking from the room and the elevator in the guest room area down to the main floor. Yeah, what's out this window? Swans. Swans. It was really cool. I was off doing some things for work obviously during this trip as I film so much for you guys here on the Sit Bike Go channel, but it was great that there was so much to do around the resort. This has definitely set a bar for traveling with the family anywhere, but traveling with the family in Puerto Rico, it's super family friendly, and it was nice just having these different areas to check out for, you know, 20, 30 minutes at a time. This is the tropical garden area, and there are all different types of birds. There are these little waterscapes. You can walk on the bridge. There's a koi pond beneath this. You might be able to see some of them. And there's some really beautiful artwork and scenery of the beach at the Caribbean Hilton. And I'll show you more of the beach and we'll tour the grounds a little bit further. So this is just one of the family friendly aspects of this hotel that we really enjoyed. Another is a playground, which I'm gonna walk you through as well. Look how cute, little turtle. You can check the itinerary at the Caribbean Hilton. They'll give you a little map of the property and an outline of different activities going on. There's maybe one or two things a day that a kid would be interested in, including feeding the koi fish. I believe that's on Saturdays, or at least was when we were visiting. So look how beautiful this is. I love all those red benches throughout the property. Here we're just walking down to the lobby. It is a pretty open, breezy building once you get inside the property. It's like this open air concept, so there really aren't any main doors to the property. We've stayed at similar resorts in Maui or maybe it was a big island, Hawaii, but in the back there are actually windows, but the front was just really cool, open, no official doors to get in. Um, so here you're looking at a few different views of the lobby, the concierge, like I said, it's so spread out. I don't think this video really can do it any justice. Here are some tropical birds. I think there are two cans that are in the lobby. They're pretty cool to look at. They have some nice bright light there. They make some noise. <laughs> it's just kind of part of the lively vibe of the lobby. And we did find a little crab walking on the floor in the lobby and apparently that happens all the time but it was really so exciting for my kiddo. So anyways, this is the Rustica Restaurante. It's an Italian restaurant on property at the Caribbe Hilton. This has a bar inside too so it's open at night. Here you see it during brunch time which it wasn't open for. This is a weekday. This is the Nectar del Caribe, and here is where you're gonna go to get your free continental breakfast if you're a Hilton Honors member. I think if you're traveling, it's good to sign up if you're interested in specific hotel credit cards like that because I do like the little upgrades. This is an example of the continental breakfast, and one thing we did find out is that kids eat free there, so they can have the expanded or the upgraded breakfast that's available, I think, it's like $30 for an adult, I, $17, I don't know. I did upgrade one day because I wanted one of the fresh omelets, but otherwise it's pretty standard breakfast fare and I don't know, I usually end up just keeping some fruit and snacks and bars and things in the room. So if I'm gonna go out and have a really delicious foodie lunch, I might go lighter and that's why we didn't go every single day, but it was good for my kid. He got some eggs, he got his nice little fancy upgraded breakfast, and here's the crab I was telling him about. It was great to see while we were waiting in line for brunch. It did get a little backed up on a really busy morning. 
I think they had a Disney cruise leaving that morning or that afternoon, so there are a lot of people around. So this is the Cara Bar, and it's the bar at the Caribbean that I'm leaving right here. Um, and outside, oh my gosh, the pools at the Caribbean Hilton are so beautiful. You get those views of San Juan Ocean. It's actually a pretty calm ocean. There aren't a ton of waves at the beach, which is really nice for swimming or snorkeling. I'm going to show you the beach area, but here are just some views of the beautiful ponds, the landscaping, the palm trees. It is really so beautiful. And when you are in the lobby, this is the focal point. Those big windows looking out, seeing lots of blues and greens. That's definitely my happy place. So I loved it. So there's so much to explore. You could really take a whole day just hanging out at the resort and checking out the different areas. There's a hammock area. There are kind of like yard games. There's a playground for kids. There's multiple pools, an infinity pool. There's a whirlpool hot tub situation. Obviously some chess, like these large fun chess pieces are out here. And there are so many water activities. You can rent water activities. You can rent a cabana. You can hang out at the pool bar. There's a swim up pool bar. So here you see there are barely any waves and that's really standard here. Um, there is a little area that you can see out there. For some reason, my family was calling it the mattress. I don't know if that's the official term, but it's basically like a dock, but actually it looks like a soft mattress that people can swim to and jump off of. So, so beautiful, so peaceful on the beach and just steps from the beach is a beautiful play area. Again, I love these red benches and you can usually find some iguanas hanging out. They don't seem to bother you. Loved this play structure. I thought they did an excellent job with the playground here at the Caribbean Hilton. And it really made it really great for our family because we ended up, <laughs> we were kind of like more of a foodie family, but over time with a kiddo who loves to be active, we're like an active foodie family. I, I really am trying to level up here and be more active, but look at this, this is awesome. So, you know, hanging out here for a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour a day is cool. Um, and if it does rain, things kind of dry up quickly, so it was no problem. Now, this, this is where you're gonna spend your money on ice cream, if you're anything like us. Because you walk by this Cookies and Ice Co, or Cookies and Ice Cream Co, something like that. This is one of the food spots inside the Caribbean, on the way to your guest room. Well, it's been such a joy to take you on this trip around the Caribbean Hilton in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I hope that this has helped you check out the property a bit, get to see the nice amenities, all the beautiful things awaiting for you here in the Caribbean. It's been a delicious and really fun trip and I've really enjoyed the crown. So thank you again so much for being part of this and I have so many other foodie and travel videos for you waiting at Sip Bite Go. Well, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers! Bye. Oh, just kidding, because I meant to show you a little tour of the room that my kiddo wanted to offer to you. So anyways, we arrived into Puerto Rico at the airport at about 11 p.m. at night. We took an Uber, so this is us just getting to the lobby of the hotel at night. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Though so check-in was super simple, got our hotel. It was really amazing to see how large this property is, but no problem. We were able to find our room with no issues. It was just all the way at the end of the hall. All right, and once we got there, we were so excited to get in and explore the Garden Mom. View Suite. Mom? Yeah. Whoa. You gotta take a look okay. at it. Okay. I cannot wait. Whoa. And it is a big, big and room, huh? Chair in here and one table in the middle and one couch. Good job. That's right. You counted and them all. And lamps. Cool. I like the lamps. Bed. There are beds? Beds. Bed. Bed. And this, this is where the party is.
Is it a remote? It's so nice. And this is what our outside looks like. Wow. This is, this really is with a potty. A bathroom and a potty. Wow, that looks nice. And it also has a shower. It does look so nice, huh? Look at this bath. It's beautiful. What is it that, soap? It has these. Soaps? Yes. It's the garden.